So this is problem 3.35 of Sadiku. So the problem asks us to rework problem 3.5 using mesh analysis. Mesh is also called loop. So loop analysis or mesh analysis this is the same. And this is the circuit here. So we are asked to find V0 here. V0 here. And so let's start because we are us using loop so we need the loop I will draw the loop here this is loop number one let's name it loop one and on this part I will name this loop as loop two okay uh, we will use using KCL not KCL KVL KVL at loop one KPL said that the sum of the voltage at this loop is zero so we start by looking at loop one and we will look at this part of this circuit so the current is going there and I will assume that the current that go there is positive so we will have I1 times 2 so the voltage here is I1 times 2 and there is voltage source there minus because there is a minus sign so minus 30 and then we are going to this loop and we have this voltage source again that positive so we found the plus sign here and so we have 20 and the last one we will have plus again that is i1 but in this side we have i1 that going here but we will also have i2 that going there so we will have i1 minus i2 i1 minus i2 times 5 is equal to 0 now we need to simplify this equation we can write this as 2i1 minus 30 plus 20 is minus 10 and then we got 5i1 5i1 minus 5i2 this will equal to 0 and we can simplify this further so we have 7i1 and minus 5i2 when we move this part going there and we will have this as first equation and now we need to find another equation because this already have two variables so we need one more and we will take a look at KVL at loop 2 We will start from here. This is I2 going there, but we also have I1 going here. So we will have I2 minus I1. And this part, because we have negative sign that we uh, on our direction, so sorry, this is times 5. So we subtract it by 20. And then plus i2 times 4 and this will equal to 0 so this part this part and this part is already done and we can simplify this equation 5i2 minus 5i1 minus 20 plus 4i2 
is equal to zero and now we can do some math here minus five i1 and then five plus four is nine nine i2 <coughs> and it will equal to 20. so and this is equation number two now we have this equation and this equation so we need to solve for i1 and i2 but i2 is more important i2 is more important so i need to eliminate the i1 so i1 is 7 and this one is minus 5 so i think i will multiply this one by 5 and i will multiply the second one by 7 okay let's do the math 7 this is 35 i1 minus 25 i2 and this is equal to 50 now we will have minus 35 i1 plus 9 times 7 is 63 i2 and it will equal to 140 now we can sum this one so we get 190 and this is i2 and for this one 63 minus 25 is 8 38 38 i2 is 190 so we get i2 is equal to this value over 38 or this is i think 5 yeah it's 5 so i2 is 5 milliampere so the current here is 5 milliamps but that is not what we are asked to find out we are asked to find out for v0 but v0 can easily be calculated using ohm's law this current i2 times the resistance 4 so i2 is 5 milliamps times 4, oh, 4 kilo ohm so we got that v0 is 5 times 4 of 5 times 4 is 24 and this is our final answer okay let me know if you find any mistakes and thanks for watching